Hey guys, for today's video, I'm doing something a little different, or at least I think it's different. I've looked all over YouTube and I cannot seem to find another video from an art YouTuber that has done something similar. So I think I'm the first one actually to ever do this idea, which I can't believe. For today's video, I'm doing what I am calling song makeovers. I'm going to be taking a song and turning it into a painting. I'm pretty excited about it. Let's get started with the song makeovers. Okay, so here we have a three pack of four by six inch canvases. I bought them from the Dollar Tree. Three canvases for one dollar. If this isn't a steal, I don't know what is. Here we have my Himmy gouache paint. It's kind of a wreck at this point. The paint is mixed together in weird places, but that's okay. I've also got my pack of paint brushes with these two yellow sponges. Can someone please explain to me what the heck that's for? Asking for a friend. <clears throat> And here we have our white blank canvas. For this one, I'm going to be painting Olivia Rodrigo's Deja Vu. She mentions strawberry ice cream in Malibu several times in the song. Conceptually, I'm totally on board using this as my inspiration for the first painting. Not only am I obsessed with Sour, I specifically love Brutal. The song Brutal is my favorite. But I also love to paint desserts. I think that's not a secret at this point. As it turns out, if you buy canvases that are 33 cents each, it's gonna be bad quality. The canvas has an odd texture to it, but it was so cheap that honestly, do I care if it's a little streaky? No. After I had my background color down, I took out my paint pens that just can't seem to stay in their box every video. It's becoming a thing with them. This is an awkward way to show you what color I'm using. The first part of the song I'm trying to visualize is Malibu. I am gonna have palm trees in the background. I am not going to have them be pink. I was just kind of using the light pink to sketch out a spot for where they would go. After sketching out the palm trees, I moved on with this tan color to the hand. I am not very good at drawing hands and feet. Any kind of limb is actually pretty difficult to draw. I feel like no one is really that good at drawing hands and feet. It's not that this didn't turn out looking like a hand. I think it did actually look like a hand at the end. But what I'm saying is it takes me an enormous amount of time and mistakes before I actually get a hand or a foot looking like a hand or a foot. Yes, I made the thumb too short right there, so I had to lengthen it. One of the downsides to paint pens is that they come in predefined colors, so you can't really create custom colors with them. As a result, I chose to layer my colors using the tan, brown, and orange. I painted her nail red. I wonder where I got the inspiration for that. Mystery solved, guys. I also painted three little fingers on the other side of the ice cream cone. Uh, I don't know why there's not four. I guess maybe her middle finger is not touching the cone. Next, I started painting the waffle cone. I started off with an orange base coat. I used some brown for some shading around the cone for a little bit, and then I switched to the highlights for the ridges of the cone. For this, you kind of just have to make a grid. I don't think I drew the lines exactly straight. I think my cone looked a little slanted at the end, but that is okay, I guess. After putting the highlights down for this waffle cone, I took my brown color and added the shading. I made the shading on this cone very dramatic. Like it's just so dark and I'm not quite sure if I like it yet, but that is how it is. I sketched out where my two ice cream cone scoops would go and then I moved on to my palm trees. For the palm trees, I used a lime green color for the outside of the leaves and a Kelly green for the inside of the leaves. And then I also used a brown for the shading. I took that brown and moved it down the trunk of the trees and used a pink color for the highlights. The sky was looking a bit too barren for my taste, so I did add some clouds. I don't like that one cloud right there. It's too close to the ice cream cone. I then moved my attention to the two scoops of strawberry ice cream, the focal point of this piece, obviously. I didn't really like that the cones looked drippy, so I changed that top scoop to not be dripping anymore. And then I also cleared the bottom a little bit and put my signature. Here is some Mod Podge. I chose to cover this painting with Mod Podge because it was looking a little rough just because of the quality of the canvas. I thought this would smooth things out and it did. And this is what the final thing turned out looking like. Strawberry ice cream in Malibu, what up? 
I don't know what I'm saying. Up next, we have Astronomy by Conan Gray. So this is a song that focuses on traveling the seas and seeing everything from Saturn to Mars. Taking out my rainbow pastel colors, and I decided to paint Saturn in space with some rainbow water. As far as I know, water does not exist in space. I'm not sure if that is what Conan is saying, but I think water does not exist in space. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Water molecules exist in space. I stand corrected. Water does indeed exist in space. Okay. But you know what doesn't exist in space? Rainbow water molecules. Okay. You heard me. Rainbow water. Huh. Throughout Conan's lyric video for astronomy, he actually had these weird rainbow things that I can only assume is water. I don't, I don't know what that was, but I used that as some of my inspiration for this painting. So you can see I picked rainbow colors and I kind of just went in random waves and made sure I kept the rainbow order at all times. It's actually quite annoying to have to keep switching paint pens so many times for such small areas. Taking off the cap, putting the cap back on, taking it off, putting it back on. It's exhausting. Why is this painting giving me flashbacks to some kind of candy? Oh, a jawbreaker. It looks like a jawbreaker. And you know what it also kind of looks like? My painting from my Create This Book that I did with the alien. I feel like I should have drawn the alien sitting on Saturn. Ah, that would have been so cute. I should have done that. Moving on to the space part of this painting. I guess the whole thing is really in space, but I mean the black part of the painting. I painted that black, and I also added some streaks of silver. I guess they're like lightning. I don't know if that's possible in space, but that that's what's happening. And then I added some Mod Podge to smooth everything out and lock it in. And this is what the final painting turned out looking like. I really like this one. I think it's really colorful. Psychedelic. Very psychedelic, colorful. Up next, we have Mirror Ball by Taylor Swift. The lyrics say, you'll find me in my tallest tiptoes, spinning in my highest heels, love. Again, we have the horrible canvases that honestly seem to repel paint. I took out my scrapbooking circle and I decided to paint a disco ball slash mirror ball in British. You'll notice that I've done something that no sane artist would do. I'm not actually an artist, I'm a computer scientist, but I've somehow managed to forget yellow in this rainbow. No, 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 no. Where's the yellow? How'd she forget the yellow? <laughs> the bunnies. No, not the bunnies. In my defense, I was very tired when I made this painting, and also that green looks very close to a yellow. It's like a lime green, but I won't make any more excuses. I made a mistake and I'm sorry. My bad. Anyway, so you can see I'm now creating the shading for each of the cubes. Like I took a darker color to make it look like some parts were brighter and some parts were darker. Then I took a silver pen and honestly, the silver pen picks up as white on camera for some reason. The last element to this piece is the part that I like the most. You're spinning on your tallest tiptoes, shining in your highest heels, love. So I thought it would be cool if I put uh, girl on her tiptoes in high heels on top of the disco ball. Obviously, this is a very typical dance move. It's very safe and you should definitely not try this at home. Please, please do not stand on top of a disco ball. It's made out of glass, guys. Safety first, wear a helmet. I added some shading to the floor so the disco ball looked like it was actually sitting on something and not floating in space. I realized that this painting is not my best work. The canvas was very difficult to work with because it was so rough and I couldn't create a straight line on it, which is why the disco ball looks so messy in some places. But I did my best with the materials that I had. And this is what it ended up looking like. Here is Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo, as well as Astronomy by Conan Gray. Overall, I think it was really fun to come up with paintings using song lyrics. There are so many popular songs that use desserts and fruits and locations, and it would be fun to turn more songs into paintings if that's something you guys are interested in. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click the box on the bottom left if you'd like to watch my other Create This Book videos, and click the box on the bottom right if you'd like to see my thrift flips. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!